name is William Bowie. Uh, I go by Billy. I love music. I know how to play several instruments. And music is one thing that has kept me grounded through this whole situation. If it wasn't for music, I wouldn't be where I am today. Before my injury, I was going to the University of Connecticut to be a nursing student. I was engaged at the time and uh, I had my own apartment. I had two jobs. Life was good. My injury occurred in the year of 2005. I was 21. It was May 10th, a day before Mother's Day. I was on my way to see my mom. I was stopped at a red light. The light turned green and I started to go and I was hit by a gentleman running from the police. His vehicle T-boned the passenger side of my vehicle and flipped over, crushed the roof, and that's what broke my neck. I was so active, so just being not able to move, not able to get around, that was hard to digest. You know, physical touch is so important. And not being able to hug my mother or little things like that mean a lot. Um, and we take it for granted. The way I got over it is just through my faith in God. And the fact that I was still alive, some people don't get a second chance at life when they go through something traumatic. So knowing that I was blessed with a second opportunity to live a life, however limited it might be, was a blessing. When I got my wheelchair, being able to drive around, go outside, just have the opportunity to be mobile, maybe feel real independent. So my situation right now, being bedridden with a bed sore has definitely made me appreciate my wheelchair a lot more. I was in St. Rayfield's for a little under a year in 05 that I went to the hospital for special care for three years until I got my settlement. Once I got my settlement, I bought a house and I was at home for roughly nine years. And in 2017, in January 17th, to be exact, I've been at the hospital for special care ever since. The reason why I had to leave the house, which angers me till this day, is I was paying 50000 a month out of my pocket for nursing care. After nine years of paying fifty grand a month, I exhausted my funds. I just recently got approved for a program. A program called Money Follows the Person. It will be going home soon. The most thing I'm eager to do is go back to the classroom. I would like to get my degree. You know, I really would like to be a psychologist. Maybe open up my nonprofit and my YouTube channel. Writing my book is something that I knew was possible, but the body of work that I accomplished or created is surprising because it took six months to write. It's 110 pages long and it's about me. So it was very therapeutic to go over past memories, good and bad, different steps of my life and how all those steps have led up to where I am now in life. The title of the book is A Patience, Patience. I want to connect with those that are going through something traumatic and let them know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I would encourage others to write. And it doesn't even have to be a book. It can be a diary or it can just be your thoughts. Anytime you can uh, reflect and put it in words of, it's nice to have something that you can read years later and it can kind of give you a perspective on what you were thinking and why. If you're someone who's newly injured, I would say to you, the next couple of months are gonna seem like the worst 
it's, it's probably your worst nightmare. But at the end of the day, know that you have family, you have friends that care about you, and do not let your disability define who you are. Define your disability. You're starting over from the very beginning now, and you're going to have to teach yourself how to do things a little differently. What might have taken one step in your past life might take three, three or four or five, and you have to learn patience. And most of all, you just have to be willing to put in the extra effort because that's all that your life is going to take from here on in is just an extra effort.